I've got the two main AI outlets that I'm gonna show you for real estate. And there I'm gonna show you seven prompts for each of them to see which one works better. Is it going to be Google Bard or is it going to be ChatGPT? You tell me. Let's do this. <laughs> So before we get started, this episode is brought to you by Addressable Mail. Chris Toswell, who started the company, is out in downtown LA, and they do a, just a different version of farming. Handwritten cards, handwritten notes. The card stock is different. The machines they use for creating this stuff will blow your mind if you're in the LA area. I'm pretty sure he'll show you and give you a tour of the place. But if not, take a look at Addressable Mail. I would highly suggest you jump into it. I've been using it now for about two months and we are loving it. Take a look at the dress of mail now, let's get into it. So you've got Google Bard, which is completely free and connected to the internet. And then you've got ChatGPT, which is kind of free. And then there's a paid version. You guys are getting paid? No, 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 no. And then they just released the browser connection for the paid version. Let's take a look really quick. Here you have Google Bard, bard.google.com. And you see it connects to my Gmail, my Google account as a whole. And then I go to ChatGPT. I would have to go down here, I'm paying, so it's GPT plus. And you'd go to the bottom left, click the little three dots, click on settings go to beta features, turn on web browsing, and that's how you know you can connect to the web. Now, let's take a look at how this works. I've got the very first prompt set up and it has to do with market stats. Let's go to Bard. Since we've got it all ready to go, let's just type it in. It says, give me the market statistics for Malibu, California for the month of April, 2023. Let's see what it pops up. In fact, while it's thinking, man, that was fast. <laughs> Okay, I don't have to let it think. And we've got some stats. Now, what I do recommend with everything that pops out of AI, make sure that you do verify with Google Bard, you have the option to take a look at the other drafts that it created. This one looks like it's a little more thorough, kind of nice. Yeah, boy. Right, and this one, let's see what this one looks like. A little shorter, but I'm interested in the numbers because those numbers don't look correct to me. But there it is nonetheless. Now let's go to ChatGPT. Make sure you've got that, ChatGPT4, and you've got it turned on on the browser. And then simply type in, give me the market stats, and then click on that little arrow to click next. You'll see now it'll be working. The browser will be saying, hey, we're working. And I'm gonna be checking to see how fast this is because if it's slow, and in some cases it's not as fast as Google, because this one is like an extended feature, but let's take a look at what we've got here as we take a look. Here it is. Let me show you what this looks like as a finished product. Yeah, give me the market statistics for Malibu, California, and then you've got the details, three little paragraphs, but if you can read it, take a look. It looks like it actually was written to me, it sounds a lot better, a lot more accurate. It gives me some interesting stats. Look, as of March 2023, six was six, right? Six homes sold in Malibu. Normally, uh, we're looking at 28 homes. That's about the right average type of home. But I'm going to check anyway. The point is, it makes it all pretty, makes it nice, gives you some extra details. I want you to start using these tools for things like that. But always verify with the MLS. Now, we've got prompts for you as well. And we actually created this whole really nice uh, landing page. It's got 200 plus ChatGPT prompts for real estate and social media. I'll put the link down below inside of the comments. If you click on this, you'd fill in your information. And then this is what it looks like when you get it downloaded. Let's take a look. Um, just going to download it so you can see what to expect. It's got multiple pages and breaks them out into different social outlets. And then you've got a hundred plus all together over here. So that that's for you. Click on the link. Let's go to number two. Follow-ups. Yes, you can create drips here. You don't have to start from scratch. I love using it to get me 
a little bit more creative to get my juices flowing. And let's just give it a shot and go directly into Bard. Let's go to Bard first. I'm gonna reset the chat. Go ahead and reset it there. And I've already got it at the bottom, it says, and let me make sure I can do it right. Create a set of 12 follow-up messages for my real estate past clients for the whole year and mix them up between emails and text. I'm sure you can add voicemail there as well, but let's see what it gives us right here. Again, it's working. This one doesn't take as long as ChatGPT normally. Here we go. Okay, sure. Here are 12 follow-up messages for your real estate past clients and they mix them up. So first email, month one, client name. I hope this email finds you well. I'm writing to check in to see how you're doing. I'm also wondering if you have any questions or concerns about your recent real estate transactions. Please don't hesitate to call. Very generic. I would make it more authentic and you can definitely change that prompt up here, make it more authentic. In fact, you know what? Let's do that. Create a set of 12 follow-up messages for my real estate past clients that are authentic and value driven let's update it give it a few seconds and let's see what pops up now this is the cool thing about using ai you can use it to help you get started in that direction here it is let's let's retry this one client hi client name i hope this email finds you well i'm writing to give you a quick update on the current real estate market as you know the market has been very hot recently and you can tweak it as you want let's go to number two here here's an open house invitation right here's a referral request here's happy new year's at the text right happy new year i hope you had a wonderful holiday season i'm writing to wish you all the best in the year ahead not too bad right here's another one home maintenance tip I hope this text finds you well. I'm writing to share a quick home maintenance tip with you. It's important to change your filters every three months. Now, I'm impressed. Now, if I really like this, what I would do is, this is the cool part about Google, right? I can Google some more related searches or I can export it to a Google Doc or an email, right? And for me, I'd probably export it to a Google Doc and it's exporting it right now. Now I can open the Doc. And here it is, I can tweak it. It's a long title, right? But I can tweak it, I can change anything I want right here. That's the cool thing about Bard. Now, if I go and I take this exact prompt and, oops, and put it into OpenAI, let's let's give it a shot, right? Let's see here, new chat, uh, make sure it's GPT-4. It's definitely hitting more data points. Now, it's going to work. Now the difference is, as you can see, it's this one's going at it like if it's thinking and writing it, as opposed to Bar just going out and dumping everything for you all in one place. I prefer the dumping. It's a lot quicker, uh, but some people like that this is being written out, making them think, making us think like it's actually thinking through the process. And to be fair, as you're comparing this, let's just take a look at this. First one's an email, January, right? January New Year greeting. It says subject line, dear client. Next is the text. It says, hey, here's a text, February checking in. Now it's an email. Now you see what it's doing in comparison to what Bard did? If we go up to Bard, it says, hey, here are the emails. Boom, sorry, here, boom, let's zoom in. And once I have all the emails done, here are the texts. So see how it feels a little bit more rudimentary like it wasn't thought out this is what i was talking about even though google is directly tied to the internet so it gives you real-time data it doesn't do this this actually makes me feel like it's thinking through the process and giving me the right format so i can literally just copy paste it put it into a google doc and then tweak it but at least it gives me the right rhythm to send it in right look at this text number eight august check in and then when you read it, it actually feels like it's a little bit more authentic as well. So let's like, play around with it. I wanted to show you that. Now the next thing I want to show you are marketing remarks. We, we all need marketing remarks. I think when, when running lab code agents has got 158,000 agents. We often get, hey, what should I use to make amazing marketing remarks for my properties that I have for sale or for anything else? Now let me show you. This is where it gets fun. Check this out. Again, I'm going to Google Bard first. I've reset the chat and I have a prompt that I'm just going to copy paste. It says, write me a marketing remark like if it's for a famous magazine. That's, that's just what I want to do. For a house that I have for sale, blah, blah, blah. Take a look at this. You can just click enter and then it's going to provide it all at once for you. 
And here it is, stunning oceanfront home in Broad Beach. The stunning oceanfront home in Broad Beach is the perfect place to relax and unwind with its three bedrooms, two baths, and a private pool, you feel like you're on vacation. The home was remodeled in 2012, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it even added famous beaches there. Uh, three bedrooms, two baths, private pool. Contact us to schedule a viewing. Now, what do the other drafts look like? This one, a little bit further, look at that. The home is located in a quiet, secluded area of Broad Beach. I didn't even tell it. Yet it's so close to the amenities you need, including Zuma Beach, shopping, and restaurants. Let's take a look at number three. Now, this stunning beach house is located on the exclusive Broad Beach community of Malibu. I already like this one better. Um, Pacific Ocean. Damn, I'm liking this one. Now, let's go and reset this one and go to ChatGPT, GPT-4, exact same prompt. Let's take a look. Experience the epitome of coastal luxury. Living in the stunning beachfront gem nestled on the coveted sands of... Damn, I already... I'm feeling this one. This one just feels a lot better. And as it's typing, because this one takes a little bit longer to type, you've got to play around with the prompts. But just with that prompt, I think I'm sold on ChatGPT better for this one. But let's keep on looking. Let's take a look at where it's going here. These are a lot of remarks. In fact, I can limit it so that it doesn't go past a paragraph or two. But look at the words that it added. Painstakingly remodeled in 2012. It effortlessly blends modern comfort with timeless design. Again, beautifully done. I think that this is one of the best things you can use AI for is just to enhance the way that you write or marketing remarks, uh, really emails, anything. So now let's take a look at me. Let's take a look at now what happens when I type in my name into this to see how accurate this thing really is. This will determine who I end up liking more or what tech piece I end up liking more. Tell me about Tristan Omada and break down important things I need to know about him. There we go. It's thinking. Tell me about me. I mean, it's kind of weird asking it, but let's see how it goes. I don't have enough information. I already can tell you what my favorite AI tool is. It's not going to be barred. And let's hope this one. I'm sorry, but okay. It's giving me a but. It's reminding you I can only go up to 2021. But Tristan is a well-known real estate professional, speaker, instructor. For the most accurate, up-to-date information, I'd recommend looking up more recent sources reaching out to Tristan directly if possible. Interesting. There you go. Not enough information. I definitely need more press guys, so help me out here. But now you can look yourself up. You can look up other things. Why not even look up the best tech stack? And I think that's important, right? As we're growing in real estate, the best tech stack for real estate agents to succeed. So now let's try this out, all right? Here, I've got a prompt for you for Bard and then ChatGPT. Let me go to my screen and let's switch over to our not so favorite one. Here it is, here's Bard, typing it in, there we go, saved it. And now I'm asking it for a tech stack for a real estate agent. Let's see what it pops up. And I'm hoping that, okay, that's interesting. I'm unable to help you with this as I, I'm only a language model and don't have the necessary information. Okay. So without tweaking anything, let's move over to chat GPT, make sure it's chat, uh, chat GPT four. And let's see what this person, geez, it's not even a person. Let's see what this thing gives us. It uh, look, it already won. At this point, you can just stop. And as cool as Bard is, I'm not sure it's to the point of beating ChatGPT quite yet. Yeah, it's free. Yeah, it connects to the internet, uh, but I'm not sure. Look, this is gonna keep on going and giving me the right tech stack. And I bet that if I'm looking at this further and I'm saying, hey, give me the right tech stack for a team, give me the right tech stack for a broker, it's probably gonna do it. This one, the win. It's going to go to ChatGPT. What's the best real estate event out there? Do you think now, now that we're kind of getting a better idea of how this works, I'm asking you, which one do you think is going to now give us the better response? Let's take a look. What is the best real estate agent event to go to, to attend, to attend? All right, here we go. 
let's uh, in the meantime let's grab that one and let's get it ready for our favorite one uh, it says inman tom ferry nar cre coverage keller williams family reunion exp con and more that's pretty cool that so it grabs some information from the internet that one wasn't too hard for it in the meantime that one did pretty decent on the previous question let's go back to gpt4 type in the question let's see what type of information it gives us here and it's going to say national association of realtors this is one of the oh so it gives us a little bit more data i like this uh number two inman connect and let's see what it gives us as number three so far uh real estate wealth expo that's a little bit different right for not for real estate agents typically uh, but typically if you want to grow your your knowledge of real estate wealth yeah zillow's premier agent forum tom ferry success summit great one tom ferry family reunion really good one as well i would say ccim institute annual global i you know i'm not familiar with that one but if now if you compare both uh, i would say this one here gives you less information more highlights and again this one gives you more detailed information even though it's outdated now the last one and i've shown you this one before but i want to show you now the difference in going between a bard and going and let's reset this and then going between chat gpt let's reset both now i'm going to type in um I'm, i want you to use this one, number seven for blogging this is probably the easiest thing to do so let's make it super simple let's go to google bard first i've typed in a prompt really quick it says write me a blog about best about the best places to hike in malibu and make it seo friendly let's take a look now it's going to go ahead and click on go let's just just move that one really quick boom now as it's doing this let me move my little uh, camera back it should give us a really nice outline remember optimize for seo the best places to hike in malibu solstice canyon escondido falls black what is this i've never been to backbone trail uh mishk Makwa trial and gato trail geez i can't even speak today but there you go it's got some good ones now let's try chat gpt go to gpt4 type the exact same thing in and all of a sudden i'm already feeling like this understands what i'm really trying to tell it take a look at how it's highlighted the top already highlighted the top it's giving me an intro and now it's highlighting every section of the blog for me and it's going a little deeper so what i would do is then i would take these regardless of which one you've got remember right here you can just export it right here into a google doc uh, but if you're going to go that route or this route i would expand each one more add links and then make it your own verbiage chances are if you live in these areas like i do then I can speak to it a little bit more if I've gone through the trails, add some great pictures. And I mean, that's a whole another avenue, but you can definitely go to Dolly, Mid Journey, and at this point, all these other sites and just grab pictures and make them. If you need free pictures, Pexels is a great place, but now you start looking at this a lot differently. And if you wanna take a look at what we've been doing, let me just showcase it really quick on our website. In fact, it's on Tristan and Associates and you can see here if you go to our blog section you can go to the blogs that we've done lately uh, we just put one up a few days ago five simple steps to prepare your westlake village home unleashing fun adventure top activities for kids uh, in those areas in conejo valley conejo valley we do both conejo ventura uh, malibu area so this is how we've been using these and if you take a look at this one uh, we we definitely change it up we make it our own and we just go deeper and deeper and that's what i want you to do here because you have an opportunity to use ai to make your life easier and just to start thinking what else can i do with this that's the whole reason i showed you both hopefully you learned something on this one if you did share it if not then pretend you never watched this and still subscribe and come back because i might do a better job the next round